Luck plays a role in every industry and it's no different in ours. In this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how you can try and create your own luck in the form of a story. Many, many moons ago now, in the year of 20 and 13, I worked for a very small production company full time. An opportunity had come up and I thought I'd try the non-self-employed life to see what it was like and see what other opportunities might arise by putting myself in such an environment. During that time, I got to work along English pop star at the moment, Jesse J. In the studio, live sessions, the production company was tied in as part of her management, but even so, it still took some time to convince her label that I was up to scratch enough to be shooting some of her content. Working for a full-time employer just wasn't for me, and it wasn't more than half a year before I was already giving in my notice. But I was convinced to stay again and again with the promise of bigger and better projects to work on. The first and one of the very few of these bigger and better projects did eventually come along at the culmination of Jessie J's UK arena tour. She was filming two nights at London's O2 Arena and her label were happy to spend 130 grand filming it to license and sell elsewhere. Being a production company consisting of just my boss and myself full time, I was overjoyed. I was gonna to get to direct my first big live production. Right, 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 right. Wrong. Although I definitely didn't think so at the time. I was sidelined for a much more experienced live director, a guy called Paul Caslin, who had also been working on the production of Jesse's live show. Okay, but I can edit it still though, right? The director has his own editor he likes to work with. Sorry, I was silently fuming. What's the f***ing point in carrying on working at this place full time where I can make more cash as a freelancer and not even get the bigger and better opportunities that I've been promised? I probably sound like I was an entitled little prick. I was, slash am, but you've got to push if you want more. On the positive side, we had a freelance production manager come in to work on the project who was super experienced. And this gave me the opportunity to learn a few things about this sort of production. Then the week before showtime, I had a very lucky break. Paul, the director's usual editor, had been double booked on a commercial job and he wasn't going to be able to do the whole thing. Due to fortunate circumstance, I was in. We were going to split the edit between us. After the show, when it came to sitting down to it, I could tell Paul was sceptical, so I was keen to impress. I put all my effort into the first cut and I hoped to prove myself to him. We sat down that first evening, watched it together, and then, in so many words, he didn't like it. But from his feedback, I picked up on two things. He didn't like to cut from shot A to shot B and back to shot A. We always needed a shot C or more in there. And where I taught myself to cut music videos to the beat or structure of the song, he liked things cut around the lyrics. So after he left, I stayed late reworking the edit best I could based on his notes. The next morning when I shared my updates with Paul, he was chuffed. He told me I'd taken his direction well and over the next week or two as we worked on the rest of the project, we went on to build a great working relationship. So the lucky break was Paul's usual editor getting double booked, which allowed me the opportunity to put in the hours and prove myself which then resulted, at least at the time, in a really strong live piece for my reel. And I got to carry on working with Paul, including a year or so later when I eventually was back freelance and Paul brought me on as an editor on a show he was directing for MTV. I think a lot of people think I just need that one lucky break. At least in my experience, it's not that one lucky break that will skyrocket the trajectory of your career, which is definitely how I thought it would work once upon a time. But every now and again, by being pushy, trying new things and putting yourself into situations, these lucky breaks might come along, which will give you a little step up or in the right direction. I can think of at least five prominent lucky breaks that have happened to me so far in my time in and around the industry. If you haven't had any of yours yet, keep going because they will come. Give me a like below if you enjoyed the insight into a small slice of my career history. And if you wanna learn a little bit more about that, then you should definitely check out this video. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe for more semi-helpful tips and interesting insider industry knowledge.